Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about relational model. Relational model represents the database as a collection of relations. A relation is considered as a table of values and a row in a table represents a fact corresponding to real-world entity or relationship. The name of table and the name of columns are used to help to interpret the meaning of the values in each row of table. For example, see this employee table. Each row of this table represents a fact about an employee entity. The column names, name, age, SSN, and department specify how to interpret the data values in each row on the basis of column each value is in. In relational model terminology, the table is called a relation, row is called a tuple and column headers are called attributes. The set of allowed values for an attribute is called the domain of that attribute. For example, for attribute department, the domain is the set of all department names. A relation is defined as a set of tuples. Relation is not sensitive to the order of tuples. Next is relation schema. A relation schema is used to describe a relation. A relation schema is made up of a relation name and list of attributes. For example, see this relation schema. Here, student is the name of relation and name, class and roll number are the attributes. The degree of a relation is the number of attributes of its relation schema. Each value in a tuple of a relation is an atomic value. It means value in a tuple is not divisible into components. Hence, composite and multi-valued attributes are not allowed. A special value called null is used to represent the values of attributes that may be unknown or may not apply to a tuple. For example, some student tuples have null for their office phone numbers because office phone number doesn't apply to these students. They don't have an office. If a student has a null for home phone, then it is because either he doesn't have a home phone or he has one but we don't know it. Thank you very much.